was done. Hi, I'm Tom, and today we're gonna learn how to air a quarter pipe. Let's give it a go, Tom. Oh God. If you're just starting to air a quarter pipe, you might want to start on something around four or five feet tall. That's like a pretty comfortable size, I feel like, and it, you might not be quite as scared to try to actually get above the coping for your first few times. A lot of the time people will think to air a quarter pipe high that you'll need to go really fast at the quarter whenever that's just usually like half of it because half of it is how hard that you pump the quarter because I've seen people, you know, haul ass at a quarter pipe and only go you know two or three feet but I've seen people go slower than that and you know go twice as high it's just all about how you pump the quarter so whenever you're first starting out you might want to go fast enough to pretty much do like a fly out onto the deck you know and like uh, fast enough to where you could keep your feet on if you needed to how you could just jump to the deck so whenever you're rolling at the quarter straight on and you hit like your front wheel hits the very bottom of the transition you'll almost want to try to manual all the way up the quarter pipe is you won't pull back hard enough to actually pick your front wheel up off the ground but just like just about to where it's about to come off the ground because all your pump is going to be in the back wheel and that's where all your pop will come from is whenever your back wheel actually hits the coping because a lot of people whenever they're going out a quarter to air it out they'll just go they'll like spin off their front wheel and their back wheel won't even touch the coping at all and that's one of the most common things that I see go wrong whenever people are trying to air out. So as you're pumping up the quarter and you're pushing down with your feet and legs as hard as you can, you're pulling back with your upper body, it's almost like you'll snap off the coping, like your front wheel will come off and you'll start leaning back even more and like shoving or like pushing down harder with your feet and as soon as your back wheel leaves the coping, you'll almost like snap past it, like kick your legs straight out and pull your arms towards you and then that'll help, like that'll help give you the pop off the coping that you need. So whenever your back wheel leaves the coping, you'll want to look towards your inner shoulder and spot your landing. And you won't want to like, you don't want to be jerky about it. Like you don't want to slam your head over. You just like cat, you like you want to be really graceful in the air and like really relaxed. So right whenever you come off the coping, casually. I was on a fucking roll, dude. She's worth it, though. You want to land the nearest to the coping or top of the quarter as you can so you can carry your speed onto whatever you're going to hit after. If it's another quarter, another box jump, like, it's always good. To, and it just things feel better whenever you actually land smooth and don't land flat and break your wrist. Going down the quarter is very, very similar to going up it hopefully your front wheel will land first and then so you can start the pump with your arms like pushing down and then whenever your back wheel gets on there too you pretty much do the same manual type motion like push down with your legs and feet real hard and then pull your upper body back towards you what well, your upper body is you why would you pull towards you and once you get more comfortable with the whole like whenever your back wheel comes off the coping and you are, are popping into your airs you'll be able to like work on staying loose and like so you can like start moto whipping your airs and like do turning your bars and do it you, you start doing tricks but that's a whole different how to once you start airing the quarters actually like getting above the coping you will come across two things usually hanging up or going all the way to flat <laughs> both these are awesome in their own ways as soon as you leave the coping, you're going to know. Like, you're going to know if you're going to land perfect or if you're going to case or you're going to land flat. And if you're going to case or land flat, either way, the best thing you could do is to straighten your legs and try to just set your back wheel down first so you can, like, decompress whatever, you know, if you're going to case, so you can, like, decompress the deck and uh, just try to suck it up. Because if you think you're going to case and you just tuck up in the air, whenever you do actually case, that'll just buck you over the bars. And if you're going to land all the way flat too and you're trying to decompress, you want to watch your teeth or anything around your crossbar. Because I've seen a lot of people, whenever they're landing flat, they're like trying to decompress, but they're just go stupid, I guess, and just headbutt their handlebars. And that never works out good. So you want to watch out for that. If you run more air pressure in your tires, it's going to make airing out a lot easier. I personally like riding a lot of air pressure on my tires, like around 90, because that helps airing it out like a lot, you know, like you don't have to pump near as hard to get a lot more out of it. If you run like 40 pounds, like when, while you're pumping up and down the quarter, it just like, you can feel like it's very sluggish. 
Thanks for tuning in to my how to air. I hope that it helped you out in some way. If you have any questions, you can just tweet me at the Aaron Ross. Uh, thanks for watching.